Oh, wow. Dude. I hope everyone's okay. It's a nasty, nasty wreck. Remember that charging station I was getting materials for last week to put in, in my office? Like the same one that I, I put in Savannah's? Well, I finished it. Now, it's not finished. There's a couple of things that I do want to change. Like, see this this power bar? This is actually just connected with, uh, with painter's tape. I, I wanted to see if I actually liked it up there or if I wanted to like mount it actually on this, this board right here. I'm not completely sold on the configuration. There won't be any masking tape holding any power bars for, for this. So I saw... So I saw on Amazon like last week a security camera that costs $35. And I figured for, for 35 bucks, I mean, it's it's worth a shot. This thing's like, it's, it's great. Tiny, easy to install. So great that I actually ordered a, a second one. And that second one is coming today. This is the, the Wisecam version three, Wisecam V3. And uh, like I said before, we have, uh, we already have one and it works great. Like when I, when I bought it, I was kind of skeptical because it was 35, it was $35. And uh, for $35, when the other competitors are like hundreds, you, don't, you, you expect these things not to be very good. So in the box, you get obviously the camera. Here's the, the camera itself. Kind of looks like the thing from Wally. -E. Get a USB cable to a wall adapter because it, it needs power to, to work. And then the coolest thing I think is this thing right here. So this bottom base plate is magnetic. If I wanted to mount this, like let's say like on a wall, but I still wanted to be able to take that down, I could just mount this with this screw or 3M adhesive. And this would be mounted to the wall. And all I would do is just take the old broken camera off and put a new new camera on. I appreciate small little innovations like, like this and attention to detail. And this uh, this is everything to me. So we keep snacks in our guest room for our guests. But the problem with that is my office is next to the guest room, meaning that I eat the snacks all day long. All right, let's do it. <sighs> Got super, super sweaty. Super sweaty every time I play drums. Ugh. That doesn't seem right. See, normally when I'm exporting a, a video, it normally takes like 20-ish ish minutes. Depending on the length of the video, it normally takes around 20 minutes to, to export. And considering it said an hour and 40 minutes, like five minutes ago, and now it's gone down to, to 40 minutes, I don't think it's gonna take that long, but technology, man. We're shooting a wedding today. Supposed to be 100 degrees today with, with humidity, so uh... <sighs> Why is it at every wedding there's the people that, that dance and the, on the dance floor and then there's the people that just that stare and watch for, for hours? I better get in there. So we're at a, a farmer's market in Franklin. I got a, a new hat 
and some, some hot sauce too, like local hot sauce. There's also Amish milk that we actually might try. I'll probably end up trying it. Did you see that sign? All right, that's about it. We didn't end up getting the uh, the milk. I wasn't brave enough. Did you see that gallon of honey that they were selling? <laughs> it's crazy. So today is the first day that it's not like 100 degrees with like 80% humidity. So I figured I would uh, I get some outside time. I feel like I'm a child when I say that. <laughs> It's also Sunday morning, so there's nobody, nobody on the streets. Perfect time to, uh, to ride around. So we live on the side of Nashville that's a little more suburby, and I've noticed over the past couple of weeks that there have been a lot more U-Haul uh, moving trucks. I mean, it's, it's fine, I'm just, something I've, I've noticed. Also, uh, do you like my do you like my new hat? So I've been getting a lot of questions on what symbols I use for a lot of my videos. And it kind of stays the same, so, so right now I'm gonna go over what symbols I use to get this sound. It's honestly not that, that complicated. So starting on the right side of the kit, or the, the ride symbol side, it's going to be a 22 inch KCON medium low ride. I use this symbol a lot because it kind of blends in and gives like a nice baseline uh, for, for everything else to build on top of. Moving to the left hand side of the kit, my secondary crash is going to be, it's actually a 24 inch light ride that was cut down to a 23 inch with a couple of cracks in it. And, and I like it because it pairs really nicely with my ride cymbal. And finally, the, the last piece, the, the third and final piece, are my hi-hats, and those are gonna be 16-inch K light hi-hats. I have 17-inch crash cymbals that I used before, but I found in a lot of genres, I struggled to get those to cut through, and the 16 hi-hats just add a little bit of crispiness, but still keep that washiness that, that I really, really do enjoy. And that, that's honestly, honestly about it. Nothing too complicated about it. Um, I use all Zildjian just because I know Zildjian. Uh, Istanbul and other symbol companies make amazing symbols, but I've just used Zildjian all my life and that's what I'm accustomed to. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you.